this is, let's see if I can, I don't know if you can see that. This is Liberty Charter School. This is a public school. They just put this in this mall. And I think it starts at kindergarten to third grade for right now. And I believe I heard in 2026 they're going to add some more grades. That's kind of strange, though. A school in a mall. Oh, they got music playing, so now I gotta edit something so I don't get copyright. But this mall used to be good back in the 80s and 90s. This is my hometown that I grew up in. When we were kids, we used to ride our bicycles here. They had Aladdin Castle Arcade, uh, KB Toys. It used to be a JC Penney's. That's gone now. Uh, but GNC is still there. That's always been there. Other than remodeling it. There used to be a store in here called Ocal Cutter. That was a good store. You could go in there and get Ninja Stars, swords, 80s posters of 80 rock bands, and they had clothes. You could get just about anything. And, uh,. Used to be a ton of shoe stores. And this bookstore here used to be called Walden's Bookstore. Now it's Books of Millions. And, uh, yeah, this mall sucks now. Very plain and bland. I don't like it anymore. And now I'm going through here. There's not many people. That's because it sucks. I kind of have a deep hate for this town. I used to love this town. It's not the same anymore. Now it's overpopulated. Everybody's freaking moving here. The only thing people here do is eat out. I mean, you can't even find a decent pair of shoes in this town. You gotta go an hour away just to find a pair of damn shoes. Yeah, this Roses sucks too. We used to have a Roses back in the 80s and it used to be freaking awesome. We used to have the best toys and the electronic section it used to be kind of like what Walmart is today. Now it's like a, a super dollar general. I mean, look at these crappy toys, man. These toys suck freaking cheap yep see nothing I wouldn't buy anything in here yeah I know I sound real negative about this mall that's because this mall sucks that's why look at this electronic section it's got to be the worst electronic section I've ever seen Oh, security's coming. I gotta hide my camera. Okay, she's gone. I don't think they would say anything anyways. I don't know why they would. Maybe they wouldn't want me filming their sucky mall. I don't know. She probably don't care though. That's the main office. There's their mailboxes. When we were kids, we used to come through this back door right here. Then we'd come in here after riding our bikes for about an hour and a half to get here. We'd come in here and, and pee or take a crap. Uh, that's a cool looking guy. I don't know who he is, but he's cool. Yeah, I've crapped in that toilet a few times. And 
I used to hate when I'd walk down this hallway and somebody else would be coming the other direction. It was always like, um, awkward. You know, because you really didn't want to look at the other person. The other person didn't want to look at you. So you kind of like look down and look at your phone. Yeah, it's like the the long hallway of awkwardness. Yeah, that company there. Sykes, that's like a, I don't know, like a telephone marketing company or something. And Pretzel Maker, that's new. That used to be a cookie shop. That's where I'd go and get my own birthday cookie cake because I don't eat regular cake because regular cake sucks. Snipes. I swear every sucky mall I've been in has a Snipes. It's like Snipes loves sucky malls. Kato does too. I've noticed that also. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this mall. Small just, I don't know, it makes my stomach hurt. I don't like it. And then right over here, this is the perfume section. Every time I walk through here, man, it's like flares up my sinuses. Eyes get all watery. Feel like I'm about to sneeze. Stinks so bad right up in here. It's got all this perfume and cologne. Yeah, that's about it. Nothing more to show. I'm out of here.